And Big Black is going to be sticking with a Bianchia as well. I know that Big Black has been playing a lot of Sarugi during these tournaments, but uh, it, it seems like a 50-50 coin flip whether or not he's going to play Bianchia or Sarugi nowadays. Yeah, if only if only he sees the light and goes to Kaguya. If only. It'll never happen. Keep on dreaming. <laughs> Let me dream. But yeah, uh, this is going to be... Uh, I mean, Willard... Talk six, a very strong player, no doubt. But Big Black here is our MVP, right? Winner of Crossover Arc, winner of TNS, winner of so many of these Ages Esports Wazis TNSs. So um, this is going to be a big fight for Talk Six if they can manage to win it, and they're on a huge lead right now. Yeah, Talk Six is just absolutely being oppressive here. Not afraid to spend meter, just to continue pressure going. Keeping it pretty safe, simple. They're finally catching Big Black with a 2A. And that should be a near death kill. Mm, yeah, could not get 100 meters. And Big Black not teching. Invalid combo popping up. Big mash out, too. Oh no, doesn't get the full ender. It's okay, though. Great the break web setup and now you gotta worry about trms now you gotta worry about staggered pressure safe pressure and stealing a loss of grit if he manages to hit you high damage as well tries to go for the dash c which is a really good anti-zoning tool especially against nana say trying to jump back and send out those fireballs but it didn't quite reach the way that big black wanted it to absolutely not and well it was just able to get the anti there at the end but without meter now, Big Black gets a little bit more time to, you know, chill. Oh, runs into the 2-2-C. Two, two, That's painful. In the corner, throw in the corner. Overhead, nice blocks. Big Black is just such, does such a great job at defending all this time. But it's still a round down and uh, just one more round for Toxix if they want to win this. One more touch is all they need. Roll out once again. Big Black's been using those a lot. And win will will win the Vorpal Cycle, but it will not matter because that 2B whiffs as Willard goes for another assault to beat it out cleanly. That's the first game here going to Mr. Right himself. Yeah, it, Big Black's been really good at blocking. Just taking back the turn from Toxic is just seems impossible. Just too good on this non essay pressure. And it's just so scary. And I realize like every time Willard gets a hit, there's a hundred meter there. And you're gonna be eating so much damage going straight into Strong Oki. But also letting Toxic just build up all this advantage, all the grid, pretty much anything they want, is not gonna be the path to victory. Yeah, I wonder if um, Big Black is maybe a bit uncomfortable with the non essay matchup, or is just really struggling with how Willard plays uh, non essay in general. Absolutely. Oh, there we go. Nice little shield. Trying to steal a little bit of grid to win the war. And just, yeah, slide on out there. Right, sliding right in. Has to spend chain shift, right? Because that third hit of the Rekka is unsafe and punishable. So uh, without meter, you can't really get any safe cancels as Biakia. So that's the big thing you gotta be keeping in mind of, whether you're playing the character, whether you're playing against the character, right? Oh, we're not gonna spend to get any better setup. Good tech. The chain shift just gets immediately thrown afterwards. Another throw coming out, giving Willard a taste of their own medicine, and that final web will deal Willard in. Big Black taking their first round here in game number two. We're looking pretty even on this meter right now. Though uh, Big Black, I think, is winning the Vorpal Cycle. Yeah, using a lot of really smart shields to beat out these projectiles. And there it is, the 6 6 C coming in full force. Do not zone me. Do not hide behind that fireball because that will reach you. Highly disjointed and can lead to a great combo on hit. Willard just right outside of throw range. What unpunished. So, you know, a little little safety there. It just has to be forced to block grid break, though. And That's this really could be exactly what Big Black wants. I wonder if that was a missed input from Willard right there, because that was a stand shield that they did that got grid broken by that 2B. Um, really unfortunate. Now you got the triple web set. You're, this is your new home now. Yes. Set the web once again, and boom, caught. Big Black. Second game. 
Second round, a second game. Um, pretty easy, pretty smooth sailing as they're looking to win this set right here. Just one more game for either of these players. Yeah, they're definitely going the distance and in Willard's shoes there, you've got all three webs set up against you. You're one hit away from death. Your opponent's sitting there with 60% life. Just not a whole lot you can do. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Web up, grid break, and into the web as well for the full combo. And what's actually kind of crazy about this character is that he can get some pretty darn good damage off of throws. Like, scaling can be really tough for most characters that combo from the throws, like Hyde, like Yuzuriha, like Kaguya. But uh, Big Black doesn't really get affected that much as Byakuya. Yeah, just like kind of the pros of... You know, sometimes it's funny having little on the lower side damage for every individual hit is really good for anti-scaling, even though it feels a little worse when you're doing your unscaled combos. But here, Willard just answers straight back of all this advantage Big Black got. And I think Big Black might not need to spend here. Yeah, wow, what a 2C catch too. Immediately backing up. Oh, Just yeah. A lot of grab. Im impatient. Big Black's not going to take that lightly. Into the corner you go. Web set up. One, two, three. A little haunted house for you. It's not October yet, but it might as well be. Jump scare coming in as well. V a bit of a combo drop from Big Black. And you're thrown into the corner though, as long as you can keep blocking, as long as you can play as really strong defense that Big Black has been showing to know how to do. Uh, Willer can't really capitalize off the VO in the same capacity as they would like. What a mash out with that 5B catching Willer. And that will be death straight into the steer ender, straight into the IW to finish the job. And good stuff. Willard started off so hot in this day. But it turns out Big Black was just, you know, on the slower game plan of, you know, it might take me a game to adapt. But once I've got that adaptation, it's off to the races.